Hi, this is Matt Wadsworth, and over the next four minutes, we're going to discuss whether or not courts favor mothers in the state of Utah. A question I often get asked is whether or not courts favor moms in our state. Being the just the state that it is, Utah, you know, it has a very religious background, that just is what it is, and that's not meant to be disparaging to anyone. It's just, um, it's just a construct that we have to operate within. And when I hear that question, um, a lot of times it's asked by men, but not always. And in my experience, um, the law favors the status quo as long as it's working. That's my experience. And oftentimes, just because of gender roles or whatever, however your family is constructed, it's more often that the mom is staying at home with the children. And it's, that, that just leaves it to dad to provide for the family. Now, that doesn't have to be the case. You know, we get cases where that's the exact opposite, in which case uh, the, the, the court would then favor the status quo as long as it's working. So the standard in Utah is the best interests of the children, right? And that's always going to be the court's primary concern. And that's what, uh, we're, how we're going to litigate the case. Um, I think insidious in that question, though, is whether or not a dad can prevail in a case and try to have more time with their children or his, his children. And the question is absolutely. And... The question then really becomes, is, is the dad really wanting to make the decisions to make that happen? So some of the things that a court's going to consider is, or are, um, where do you live? Do you live close to the mother? Do you live in the same school district? How long is it going to take you to take the children to school in the morning? Are they going to be late? Um, what's the, the pickup after school situation going to be? And the, the way that, just the way we live our lives, a lot of times people aren't thinking about those questions. And so you'll come into a case and mom will, you know, be in the marital home because the, the family has split up and, you know, kids are going to the same school. And, and the court doesn't want to break with that, that status quo and, and what's happening there as long as it's working. Now, if obviously, if obviously you have kids that are not flourishing or they're struggling in school or they're having serious issues with the divorce or you have a son that really wants to be with their father. Those are situations that we can work out. But the father really needs to be willing to, to make those, those critical choices to make that situation work because the court's just going to want a stable situation for the kids. And they don't want um, the kids to go from Draper to Ogden, you know, every other day. The court's just not going to want to do that. You know, they're not even going to want you going across town. You know, a 30-minute drive is going to create situations that the court's not going to want to want to deviate from um, because they don't want kids being shifted back and forth and back and forth. At least the assumption that our statutes are built on is that, you know, minimum standard parent time is actually in the children's best interests. And that isn't made up. It comes from psychologists and it comes from um, LCSWs, and, and that's what they think. They think that kids should stay in one home and not being shipped off all the time. And so you're really in a situation where you need to make the day-to-day -day activities the same. You know, and if that means that the kids are just living at one street, you know, up the, one more street up the, up the hill, then that's not a big deal, right? Um, and so that's a tough question to answer, but it's really about uh, status quo and stability and when we get into the factors that a court is going to consider about what's in the best interest of the children. If you found this information informative or you have other questions, we have a catalog of videos that are there to answer some of the most common questions that we have in domestic litigation cases. Feel free to contact us at my personal email, uh, wadsworth at arnoldwadsworth.com. You can also reach my partner at arnold at arnoldwadsworth.com or you can um, feel free to call us anytime.